What's going on guys, it's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing Friday. So I wanted to make this video that was a little bit more in detail. I usually make these videos of like, you know, how I made $100, how I made $250, how I've made a couple thousand dollars a day investing in the stock market. But I don't think I've ever really broken down, you know, how much money or how much capital in a realistic kind of standpoint you need to kind of get started. So that's all this video is going to be. For all those that have a goal of making $100 a day, I'm gonna provide you not only like a break down on how to get to that point but also some mindset and some best practices that I hope that can really get you there so again for those that aren't familiar with who it is that I am my name is Ricky we run the largest free private trading community it's that third link in the description if you guys want to join and again if you guys like the video at the end very end of the video please be sure to drop a thumbs up so just to get right into it the goal $100 a day to provide a little bit more insight, I think a goal is something that you should work towards. I don't think as someone is just getting started that that is something that you should realistically expect. That's my two cents. I know people right away can probably aim for a $100 a day goal. When it comes down to my approach, I'm much more conservative, meaning that I like to be very realistic when it comes down to setting goals for myself. So although this breakdown talks about a principal balance of $5,000, that's the breakdown that I have and I still think that it's aggressive. $5,000 to make $100 a day. That's a goal of 2% growth daily. 2% growth a day will get you $100 a day. It's very easy math, right? Now when it comes down to you know what kind of goes into that, that means that I like to focus on no penny stocks. Absolutely no penny stocks. I don't trade any penny stocks. I think penny stocks will easily drain your account. They're pump and dumps. They're difficult to actually understand why they're going up, when to enter, when to exit. There's just a bunch of nonsense. And again, we're trying to talk about $100 a day consistently, not just from time to time. And I think the best way to do that is in understanding the patterns in which you choose to take advantage of. And fortunately, I do not think penny stocks are that way. Now, when it comes down to the next one, again, you wanna make sure that every single time that you take a position, that you have set criteria that that stock has to meet. And I talk about direction, good deal, opportunity cost. I made a video yesterday talking a little bit more about that, and you should be able to find that video in the description to get a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown. So $100 a day, $5,000 balance, 2% daily. Do I think that this is realistic for someone that's just getting started? 2% a day, that's 40% a month. 40% a month, that's $2,000 a month. How many of you guys have, have, have set such a high goal for yourself of like a day? Some people have five, 10% growth goals a day. That's great that you have such an aggressive way. I'm just speaking based off of my two cents and my experience. I don't think that's very realistic. I think as someone is just getting started, you need to focus on the foundation, you need to focus on getting the bar rolling, and you have to be such less focused on how much money you can make in the very beginning and making sure that you understand every single position that you take moving on forward. So with that being said, setting the 2% growth goal a day, I honestly think is very aggressive. My goal on a weekly basis is 10 to 15%. And I've been doing this for years. I had one of my biggest weeks this week and I cleared a little bit over $5,000 profit. You guys can feel free to watch any of my videos. Last week, I cleared a little bit under $5,000 profit as well. That is not a normal week for me. I normally trade with about $25,000. So that means my average is about $2,500 in return on a weekly basis. That's an amazing week for me. So last week and this week have been me uh, nearly doubling what I normally aim for. And what I want to share with you is how important it is how important it is to set realistic goals. Do I think that you should actually set a goal of 2% a day? Probably not. I would say realistically, if you can have a goal of either a, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So on a daily basis, a one to one and a half percent goal, I think is much more realistic. You don't over trade and you, you're not going to you know, really stress yourself to try to find that 1% profit margin. The other thing on top of that is something that I have found to be a huge catalyst for our member success within Learn, Plan, Profit, that's our private course group, is setting weekly goals. Instead of setting daily goals because that encourages, to, that encourages you to trade every single day, simply setting up goals 
on a weekly basis. So again, as of right now, the market has been very inconsistent, very volatile. So I don't focus so much on swing trades as of right now. But one thing that I still do set are weekly goals, meaning that I don't stress myself to take a position every single day. So instead of setting a goal on an everyday basis, then maybe setting a weekly goal for yourself of 3%. Obviously, when it comes down to this breakdown, it would be a 10% growth goal. I personally think that that is extremely aggressive. Again, that's my opinion. I oversee hundreds of thousands of people within our free trading community. I see tens of thousands of people every single day within our private course group. And I still think 10% a, a week is a very aggressive approach. I think you should focus on getting the ball rolling. I think goals are something that you should work towards. $100 a day, $2,000 a month, that's a lot of money. And the most important part that you should make sense of is, you know, if you were to get a job, how long would it take you? How many hours do you have to work to you know, make those $2,000 for the month, right? A lot of people have to put in a lot of hours and a lot of time. Now, stocks are not gonna be any easier. It's actually gonna become much more difficult to get to that point. It's much more difficult to understand the concepts. It's much more difficult to implement everything that you learn to you know, practice. So you have to understand that it's going to take time. It 100% is possible though. I just want you to set a realistic goal for yourself moving forward. So many people have been setting a goal of 5% plus on a weekly basis, all power to you. If you've been stressing yourself because you haven't been achieving that, then I would say take a step back, set a realistic goal, and just start getting the ball rolling. The biggest thing is trading patterns in which you understand and are not being told what to do. That you take a position in directions in which are showing signs of growth, and the most important part has to be managing your risk. The only way that you can grow your account is if you can control how much money you give back, and you could only do that if you manage your risk and end up cutting losses and stuff like that. So again, I just wanted to provide a little bit more insight. So many people have been asking, how can I start making $100 a day? Realistically, I would say the minimum would be $5,000, normally about $10,000 to even get to that point. But think about it. If you start with $5,000 and being able to see a return on a monthly basis of $2,000, that's a huge return, that's 40%. And I still think that's very aggressive. So even if you were to take a $10,000 balance and go with 1% a day, 5% a week, right? That's still a huge amount, 20% a month, $2,000. That means within a total of five months, you would have doubled your overall account value. And that's the beautiful thing about this. If you're consistent with it, if you understand what you're investing in, and if you're not trading based on other people's opinion, I truly do think that you can get to a point to become a self-sufficient trader. And that's our goal within TechBud Solutions and Learn Plan Profit. So again, guys, thank you again for absolutely everything it is that you guys do. If you guys want to stay connected and would like to work with me on a closer basis, that link, that first link down in the description is our Learn Plan Profit group. That's our private trading course group. You get to watch me invest in the stock market every single day. So if you're looking for someone, not to tell you what to invest in, but to work with someone every single day, not only just watch me trade live but ask me questions and also be able to have access to me 24 7 then again that's that first link in the description if you want to be a part of our free trading community that's that third link in the description and we're truly looking forward to being a part of your success hope you guys have an amazing friday hope you guys have a fun and safe weekend we'll see you in our sunday stock talk and like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy